Welcome to another lecture on C programming. In today's video, we are going to talk about multidimensional array. In the previous video, we have discussed about what is an array and how can we declare an array, how can we initialize an array, and how can we take inputs from the user as an array. And also, we saw in our previous example, how can we print an array. So today's topic is very important, guys, because here we discuss some advanced concept of C programming that is about multidimensional array. So let's start. So first of all, what is a multidimensional array? So you have understand what is an array same way. You can see that in one dimensional array, it is a collection of homogeneous elements okay that is uh, a same kind of elements where data types is same but uh, a multi-dimensional array is an array of arrays that means where we have simple kind of data in one dimensional array and here in multi-dimensional array we basically use an array as a data for another array so it is an array of array so here we basically discuss how you can declare a multi-dimensional array so what is the general form of a multi-dimensional array guys so here you can see that in the first line let me pick a pane okay so here i'm just using a, a laser point so you can see that in the first line here this is a general form of multi-dimensional array guys so here it is a data type that is it is maybe an integer int data type maybe a character maybe a floating point number so we can write a data type in this way int care float after that you can see that the array name that is basically a normal general form of an identifier name okay so we can write the array name as a variable name and after that uh, in our one dimensional array you can see that we have only size one and we don't have all these kind of size two size three size four and size n so here when we write a multi-dimensional array we're going to write in this way that is size one size two size three size four up to n why because here we take a multi-dimensional array we don't take here a one dimensional array suppose we have a two dimensional array so where we stop we will go up to size two and suppose we have a three dimensional array so we will go up to size three so here you can see that an example of two dimensional array int arr 43 so what is a meaning of uh, this a general form of a two-dimensional array so here int is a data type and arr is a variable name uh, an array variable name or you can say that an array name and four four is basically the size of the two-dimensional array of basically it is a row number okay and three is a size two and it is a column number guys in a two-dimensional array I will discuss what is a row number and column number okay so this is a general form of two dimensional array same way we can write int arr567 okay so here this is a three dimensional array and here you can see that this is your size one size two and size three so what is happening inside a memory so basically we store a multi-dimensional array in a tabular form that is in a row measure order or column measure order it depends upon our with in which order we basically arrange the multi-dimensional array I'll just take a look of a multi-dimensional array guys so here you can see that this is a three-dimensional array okay why a three-dimensional array because of here there are three columns and three rows and there are three set of rows and columns so what is a row so basically in every uh, when you talk about every two dimensional array so okay so 
where the first horizontal line is known as the row so suppose uh, only just see this first plate okay understand it in, uh, in this way this is your first plate second plate and third plate okay so in this matrix understand in this way so here uh, this is your first row guys this horizontal line where data is 4 10 6 this is your row okay and where 17 0 12 this data this is your second row and this is your third row and also you know that we start index from 0 okay so this is your row 0 this is a row 1 and this is a row 2 okay so here we have a three dimensional array so this has three rows and three columns and also set of rows and columns is also three so it is an example of a multi-dimensional array so you can figure out uh, this array in a 3d okay there are three plates and they are arranged in this way that you can see all the elements okay so now let's to take a look for a two-dimensional array it is very important okay and we don't need to understand okay so we don't uh, need to uh, remember all the multi-dimensional array size and everything but we have to understand all the multi-dimensional array concept in detail but uh, in our exam and also when you will write programs you don't need to take a four dimensional array or five dimensional array or or three dimensional array guys okay so there we need only two dimensional array or one dimensional array and in some problem maybe not uh, somehow it's uh, a three dimensional array but every time we need a one dimensional array or two dimensional array so why we need to focus on our syllabus and on two dimensional array so what is a two dimensional array so it is nothing but it is an array of one dimensional array since we know that in one dimensional array we have an element okay we have homogeneous elements stores uh, together so here a two dimensional array is nothing but it is an array of one dimensional array okay and here uh, what is the basic syntax you can see that we will first write a data type and after that we will just write array name and m and n that is a size one and size two and if you talk uh, if you ask me that what is uh, size exact size of a two dimensional array so that is a multiplication of this two size one and size two that is m multiply with n is size of an array so in a one dimensional array when we're gonna uh, count the size of an array we just count the total number of elements same way here we just count the total number of elements and that gives us the size of an array okay so uh, okay let's me so here we just gonna open our visual studio code and there we understand two dimensional array and also we will write some program so this is our visual studio guys okay so i have already created a file name multi-dimensional array demo dot c okay and if you don't know how to create a file name just go there and here you can just create a new file and name the that file okay so now i have already written some theories some concepts about two dimensional array and it basically uh, it will save our time so here what is a two dimensional array so it is a simplest form of a multi dimensional array you can see here it is written and uh, the basic syntax of a two dimensional array is we just write a data type and after that we just write uh, array name and and after size one and size two here size one is m and size two is n and it is nothing but it is a row number and n is your column number i will tell you what is a row number and column number again don't worry about that and i had the size of uh, two dimensional arrays m multiply with n so in this example you can see suppose we have a two dimensional array a and a is an integer of integer array integer two dimensional array and why because here you can see that this data type is int and here the value of m is 3 and uh, value of n is 4 so here total number of elements is 12 so the size of this two dimensional array is 3 
multiply with 4 and it, it, it will give us 12. So here this is a 12 size 2 dimensional array. Okay and now you can see that this 3 is basically the row number and this 4 is column number. Now how? So so basically it is an array of one dimensional array we make an array using one dimensional array so this is basically a format of a two dimensional array guys from a002 a22 so understand this in detail here here we have an array a34 so this is our uh, 2d array and 3 is a row number and Four is column number here and from a00 to a22 uh, this is basically a representation of 2d array we basically represent multi-dimensional array in tabular form okay so you can see that each row when you see any row so here this is your first row and it is since we have started our index value from 0 so we can see that this is your row 0 so in the first horizontal line that is your row number zero you can see that it is nothing but it is a one dimensional array okay so here uh, this is your first element a of zero zero why a of zero zero i will discuss it don't worry about that and uh, this is your second element a of zero one and this is your third element understand in this way for the row number zero okay so this is your first one dimensional array this is your second one dimensional array and this is your third one dimensional array so why i have written here it is an array of one dimensional array so you have hope you have cleared this line okay so you have understand this line why i have written there now what is row number and column number so here in each and every line we have started suppose when we write a, a 1d array so in our one dimensional array we start index value from 0 and we write value as a of 0 we then we write uh, a of 1 generally we basically write in this way okay so now same way a of 0 okay and uh, here you can see that this is a of 0 this is also a of 0 and this is also a of 0 forget about this 0 1 2 and this horizontal line okay this is called as row row okay this is known as your row and this vertical line is basically our column so why uh, i have written here uh, that is row and column okay so you can see in this way and also there are three row here why uh, because it is three here uh, so why there are three row here okay and since uh, here we have written four so column number should be four okay i'm just gonna write a column three okay and this is your the fourth column guys okay and here One minute okay so this is your one and this is two since it is three so we have to write three here okay so here this is your row number and this is your column number now you understand uh, what is row number and column number so row number is the horizontal line how many horizontal line there and these are basically one dimensional array and uh, we represent a two dimensional array in this way okay so since it is a simplest form of a two dimensional array that is a sorry a multi-dimensional array so it is easy to understand we can represent a two dimensional thing in a 2d uh, okay surface so why we just can see and understand a two dimensional array in a better way but when you talk about three dimensional four dimensional so it is difficult to understand uh, to write uh, or 
we can not uh, depict uh, the picture actual picture in 2d okay 2d surface so here you can see that uh, this is your column 0 this is your column 1 this is your column 2 this is your column 3 okay so since we have a started index value from 0 in one dimensional array so here this is row number 0 so here uh, this is our first index that is a of 0 and that is first uh, row and here this is a of 0 so that means the if the value of row is 0 and the value of column is supposed to 2 so which element it is it is a of 0 2 okay so this is basically our element suppose someone gonna ask us like uh, if the row number is 2 and column number is 1 or so what is the uh, element value so it is a to 1 okay and here same way like uh, when we write in one dimensional array a1 a2 and each element each array element is a variable uh, behave as a variable same way we have a of 0 0 is an element okay of a 2d array element and it behaves as a variable we can add two array elements we can subtract it multiply it anything okay and here when we represent an element uh, we gonna write in this way a of 0 0 a of 0 1 a of 0 2 a of 0 3 so also you can see that uh, if the row is 0 so the first element that is the first element here you can see this is a first element of this is a general uh, since it's a general form and here this is the size of uh, two dimensional array that is three by four okay it is 12 so here for the first row if you see the element of first row the first value of that array is zero that is also it is same as zero and here the column value is changed it is first zero then one then it is two and then three okay for the row one also you can see that uh, the value of uh, first element is one for each 2d array element it is one but the column value is changed 0 1 2 and 3 uh, for row 2 also the first array element is 2 and uh, another value that is the second array element that is the column value and it is changed at 0 1 2 3 also same way you can see that if the column value is 0 so here the second element of first column is also 0 each column you can see that this part is 0 okay same way for column 1 each element second part that is the column part is 1 for column 2 it is 2 and for column 3 it is 3 okay now we're gonna write some program to understand uh, this 2d array okay and uh, so here I'm just going to comment this because otherwise it will give us an compilation error, a compilation error. Okay, so just write a problem. So here I'm just going to write, uh, okay, one minute guys. Yeah, there, h include is tutor dot h, double header file, and now int main. So here we're going to first write how can we initialize a 2d array you can see that uh, okay so here you can see that this is a way of declaration of a 2d array you can declare in this way and after that you can ask it. but uh, how can we initialize an uh, a 2d array okay so we can initialize our 2d array in two ways okay first of all so we're going to just declare it suppose in and our array name is suppose a r r and i'm just gonna write uh, the size okay and uh, suppose we're gonna just write two and there the value is three so this is our 2d array and we're gonna just write in this way in this way as uh, for the first row okay 
we're gonna first write our first row element then our second row and third row so here uh, since uh, number of row is 2 so we have only two rows row 0 and row 2 okay so and I'm just gonna com uh, give a comma and just write this curly braces so in this form of nested braces we can all declare a, a basically an 2d array and each curly braces is basically represent a, a row okay so here since we have only two row so we're just gonna write two curly braces inside a, a main curly braces okay so here we're gonna just write an error elements okay so suppose uh, we have first array element of first row first array element of first row that is a of 0 0 and here suppose it is 8 and since uh, we have three columns total number of column is three guys so that means from here to here from column 0 to column 2 so we have to put three elements inside each row so I'm just going to write 8, 9, comma 7. And for the second row, that means row 1, how many elements? Also, we have to write three elements. That is A of 1, 0, A of 1, 1, and A of 1, 2. And so for that, I'm just going to write 6, 5, 4. Okay. So it's up to you which value you want to put inside that array okay so here this is a first way of initialization of a 2d array using curly braces okay so using nested curly braces and here since we use int data type so we have to put the data inside the 2d array as integer and here uh, since we have used uh, uh, row number total number of row we have two so why we have to use two nested curly braces okay so this is a first way of initialization and also column number is 3 so why we have to write three elements inside each row that means in each braces so you can write here this is your uh, first way of first way of initializing 2d array okay so now what is a second way you can declare same array in this way also just write int arr i'm just gonna comment the first part because otherwise it will give us an error two three and here and this is also another way we're just gonna write eight nine seven here we, don't, we will not use any curly braces okay so that means the nested curly braces we have to write uh, this curly braces this is mandatory but uh, we don't need to write uh, that nested curly braces inside this 2d array so i'm just going to write 8 9 7 and then 6 5 4 okay so you can see that uh, you can also basically write initialize a 2d array in this way it is also right since what uh, basically a compiler does a compiler always store a 2d array into one dimensional form that means the address of this element that is suppose 1000 and the address of 9 becomes 1004 that is the next element since we have integer so i have used a 64 byte computer okay so uh, computer architecture so by here in teaser is 4 byte okay so here uh, for this element suppose uh, this is 1000 then the next element is uh, 1004 for the next element is 1008 and since this 654 is inside in a second row but it is stored in our compiler sorry in memory in 1d form that means if the address of this 7 is 1008 the address of this element becomes 1012 and for 5 it is 1015 and for 4 it is 
2016 okay I'm, okay sorry sorry uh, it is 12 it is uh, 16 and it is 20 okay so we basically represent array elements in 2d form okay but we stores but the compiler sorry but the compiler stores the all array elements into always in one dimensional form okay so now let's see okay so first of all uh, this is a second way of initializing you can write initializing sorry initializing 2d array now we're just gonna see how can we access 2d array elements okay so you already see that uh, here saw that here uh, this is your first element a of 0 0 and this is your second element a of 0 1 so when we print a of 0 0 which value will it will print so I'm just gonna print here print f percent d a r r 0 and 0 okay so you just gonna tell me what is the output of this program I'm just gonna save and run this so it is obviously 8 just wait for few minutes okay so it will show you an output so here uh, we're gonna talk about two dimensional array but after this lecture we're gonna talk about pointers guys okay and also discuss about what is actually static memory allocation and dynamic memory allocation also one of the important topic is that string okay also we will discuss about a string and after this multi-dimensional array all the concepts you will learn are the advanced concepts of c programming so ne don't miss any lecture and just give your time keep patience and write programs okay so here this is eight why eight uh, because uh, this is your first array element what is the meaning of that this zero means the first that is the row number is zero the first array elements or you can say that a zeroth row or zeroth row and or zeroth column that means this part okay and you know that you arrange you stores the data inside a one dimensional array inside the memory but uh, you can represent in this way so why it always stores okay so it always represent a multi-dimensional array in tabular form a 2d array is a simplest multi-dimensional array so you can see in this way so here this 8 is your a of 0 0 when you're gonna print a of 0 1 so it will print what it will print 9 again when you're gonna print a of 0 2 it will print 7 when you're gonna print a of 1 and a of 2 so what value it basically print it will print 5 so just see how okay so it will print 4 okay okay sorry so it will print 4 why because this is a 0 0 this is 0 1 and this is 0 2 and the 6 is basically 1 0 and 5 is 1 1 okay and 4 is 1 2 so you can see how can you access array element in this way now i'm just going to use a for loop to print this complete array okay and uh, remember like uh, when we talk about uh, patterns in c programming in the previous lectures there you can see that uh, we have to print a pattern since a pattern is generally in two dimensional form so we when we're gonna print our pattern in two dimensional form we have to use a we have to use two fold loop guys same way we have to print our array elements in two dimensional form and forget everything about array right now and just gonna i'm gonna ask you to print uh, this pattern so this is nothing but a rectangular pattern guys so here you can see that this is nothing but a rectangular pattern and uh, here total number of row is 3 and total number of column is 4 that means your first for loop will run 
three times and another four loop will run four times so this is a rectangular pattern okay so since a pattern is a rectangular but the value is different okay so we're gonna use that rectangular pattern concept and print we will print this array okay so what we have to do i'm just gonna write a first for loop for printing the number of row so here i'm just gonna write int i is equal to zero and i list then is equal to what two why because two is our number of row and here i plus plus and another for loop guys for int j is equal to zero and j less than is equal to what three and j plus plus so this is our first for loop it will basically print or represent our uh, row number okay and uh, this for loop will represent our column so it will run three times from 0 1 2 and it will run four times 0 1 2 okay up to uh, here it will run for only two times that is 0 and 1 and it will run for three times that is 0 1 2 now i'm just going to print our array elements so i just going to ask me how so in this way because you can see that uh, here uh, this is your array elements and now what value you will print if you will print i or j that means it will print sometimes 0 0 after that it will print 0 1 and that 0 2 and that 0 3 but you want to print the array elements that is a of 0 0 so why we have to write here that is a r r our array elements and then i of 0 so i'm just going to write i and j okay so here you can see that this a r of i is what uh, there uh, that is your row number so when this loop will run for first time and that zero that value that a r of i will replace by the value zero and here it will run three times this loop the inner loop and every time the j value becomes zero one two and same way it will run three times okay two times for i is equal to one also it will run three times the second in, in a for loop and it will print the value of 2d array elements now we want to print our 2d array elements into a two-dimensional form if we print in this way that means it will print our 2d array in one dimensional form but we want to print a 2d format so what we will do we will just break after uh, when our column becomes okay so column ends so after that we're going to enter in our new row that means in a new line so why we just going to write here a new line character that is a printf backslash and to print a new line character i'm just going to save this c program and run this so here you can see that uh, this is 4897 Six seven uh, six five four. Why this is four here? Because it was the previous value. So why it doesn't look like a, a perfect uh, two dimensional that is a rectangular array. So I'm just gonna comment this part again. Save this. Okay, so you can just take an, a screenshot also. Take a screenshot. I'm just gonna run this. You can see that eight nine seven six five four is our two dimensional array. Also, suppose you want to print that uh, what is the index value and also what is the array elements. You can write in this way like uh, A, R, R, and that is percent D equal to this. And here also you have to write percent D that is a value of what? That is value of I and J. You can give a comma here. Okay i comma j put a comma so it will print the index value okay and here suppose you want to write uh, elements as uh, four okay so we have uh, four array elements for the first row and also we have to adjust i'm just gonna write uh, 98 and another value is zero 
so these four elements will print for the second row i'm just gonna save this c program and here also since it is updated so also we have to update the our nested for for loop for the column number okay and run this so here error of AR of 0 is 8, and error of 0 1 is 9, error of 0 2 is 7, error of 0 3 is 6. You can see that this is your two dimensional array. Okay, so in this way you can access your two dimensional array. How can you access it? We're just gonna write AR of IJ, error of 0 1, 0 2, 0 3, and also you can print in this way. Suppose someone wants to take input from the user. So how can we take two dimensional array inputs from the user? Okay, so for that, I'm just going to write uh, scan of. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to write here. Enter row number. I'm asking from the user. Enter row number and column number. Okay. Column number. And here I'm I'm declaring here a variable m comma n and when you declare any variable in C programming just assign a single value okay uh, don't leave any variable without initialization I'm just gonna put a value 0 and here we are gonna take row number as m uh, from scanf as scanf percent d and percent d for m we have to write m person m for column we have to write m person and put a semicolon okay and here i'm just gonna write array okay so i'm just gonna declare an array so in this way you don't need to initialize here i'm just gonna declare only so just write a of m and a of n so you have declared this array here and now you want to take input from the user for this array so for that same way since you want to store the array elements in a two dimensional format so what you have to do you have to store each and every element for this suppose you want to store a of 00, zero. so you want to write in a scanner and person a of 00, zero. so for that and same way you have to write m person a of 0 1 and up to a of uh, 2 3 so here so here uh, we want to access each and every element and since it is in 2d format so we have to write two for loop first for row number and second for column number so i'm just gonna copy this for loop program and paste it okay so here you don't need to write printf here why because we want to take input from the user and also don't need to write this printf backslash f. so here we just just we have to write here m m is your row number guys and uh, n is your column number okay so this is your row number and this is your and is your column number and here we have to write our scanf in this way and percent d give a space and just write what m person since uh, when we're gonna uh, use uh, take inputs from the user and if it is a variable we're gonna write m person address of m same way we have to write m person a and what that is a of i that is your row number and a of j when the with this loop will run it will replace at a of 0 0 a of 0 1 that means you put each and every data that takes from the user inside inside uh, this element for this element for this element okay so you put value uh, which you take you will take from the user inside the compiler okay so in this way you can take input from the user since we have used a row number that is m so i'm just gonna replace 2 with m 
and and four width and I'm just gonna tear right this is your 2d array this is your 2d array as a message for the user okay and sorry here and now also you will ask uh, to the user like uh, enter array elements enter array elements and also you have to write how many elements since you want to take from the user okay so enter 14 array elements or 20 how can you how your user know so just gonna write here enter percent d array elements so here you generally just write m cross n that is the size of your 2d array suppose uh, you want to take input as 3 3 so you you have to enter 9 array elements okay and here i'm just gonna I'll delete this part okay so why because uh, we only want to print our 2d array uh, not the center the index value okay so percent d and percent d ar of i since we have taken array name as a so we have to just delete the double r and now put a semicolon otherwise it will give you compilation error now it is perfect so here just see that i will explain again so first i'm gonna take a uh, input i'm just declaring a two variable here m or n m and n m is your row number n is your column number and we're gonna just ask the user enter row number and column number we have stored that data inside m and n and we're gonna declare a two dimensional array as a of mn suppose we take inputs from the user as 3 3 so this becomes a of 3 and 3 so this is our array declaration the first part of array 2d array is complete now we want to take inputs from the user so i'm just gonna ask the user enter array elements how many elements suppose uh, we have 3 3 so enter 9 array elements so why and here you're gonna take input from the user using scanf since we have to take inputs for each array elements that is a of 0 a of 00, 0 a of 0, 01 a of 0, 02 so why we have to use this two for loop okay and because we want to access array elements as a of 00, 00 a of 0, 01 a of 0, 02 okay and here we're gonna print our Two dimensional array in this way just save this C program and run this enter row number and column number I'm entering here 3 and 3 okay sorry 3 3 enter 9 array elements okay suppose 10 enter 20 enter again 21 enter 30 31 34 89 98 and 97 and here 56 so you have entered nine array elements and this is your two dimensional array guys okay i'm just gonna zoom this okay now you can see that your two dimensional array and also you can see that how can you take uh, inputs from the user as a two dimensional array okay so this is your very important import sorry very important topic that is your multi dimensional array and in the multi dimensional array we have to only learn about two dimensional array because in our real life programs we have to only use two dimensional array to for our complex program okay so why we don't need to understand or learn about three dimensional array four dimensional array but we have to know that 
uh, there are also we can uh, write a three dimensional array four dimensional array in c programming you can declare okay you can visualize in three dimensional and uh, now guys you have understand the concept of array what is an array what is a two dimensional array you take the input from the user uh, you can initialize the array and also you just print the array. now you access array elements so you can use your array as a tool for your programming so here this is not your end because you only understand the syntax and how can you use an array but uh, you have to understand array in more uh, uh, more proficient way so you have to write a lot of program on array just find questions on array also i will uh, give a link in description box okay where you will find some array problems and and just understand each and every problem and read the line by line and just write the program uh, because only when you only understand the concept we only write the theory that is not enough you have to write a lot of programs so first write the programs for one dimensional array then two dimensional array when you will learn all those things all those concepts then you have to develop logic for difficult programs and there you understand the data structure concepts so in the next lecture we're going to discuss about uh, maybe a static memory allocation dynamic memory allocation and uh, also maybe a string so we will decide later okay so all the topics basically we will discuss after this array is very very important suppose pointers structures and union file so keep learning and if you like the video on c programming so please do subscribe the channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.